Good morning, everybody and anybody, and welcome to a beautiful day in Montana. We are on our way up to Ingalls Mountain. I've never been there before. The road isn't open very much during the year. It just opened on the 1st, and today's the 11th, so I thought it would be interesting. So today, so today we're going to head up there. We're going to see what we can find. I have not done much gravel this year. Not much at all. And I know I haven't been making any videos lately. On the days I've been out so far, I've mostly been riding with my wife and just enjoying riding. It's hard to make a video when you're connected with comms and stuff. It's not only is it a little awkward, but <laughs> yeah, another reason I haven't been making videos much lately is, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you go out to your computer and it's updated and then nothing on your computer works anymore <laughs> well that's basically what happened to my my video editor doesn't recognize my my format of my helmet cam anymore but my father-in-law put together a new computer for me but now I have to have a learning curve of using a new program and so I guess I've just been avoiding that I have goofed off with it a little bit. It gets a little bit discouraging, I guess, you know, trying to learn how to use a, a new program and just having to go through that whole learning curve again. It seems to it seems to happen quite often where you know as soon as you get the handle on something, it changes. You gotta learn to, to do something else. So but this video, this video I guess is kind of proof that that I'm getting it. <laughs> I am getting it. Put together a video, I guess. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day, though. You know, if I was nice, I'd pull over so we can have a secondary camera here. So let's do that. Get ahead just a little bit more. Got to get you guys another camera angle here. If I turn this one on, all you get is a crotch shot. And let's admit it. <laughs> you don't want that. this a little bit more interesting I guess just nothing but helmet cam footage can sometimes get a little bit boring so yeah new computer program makes it a fuzz discouraging I guess to try to do that learning curve because I don't I don't mind learning new things but there's just you, you have to approach I have to approach it in a specific way to where I don't feel like I've just wasted a bunch of time. I don't know, maybe I guess I just need to change my perspective. You know? Knowing that even if I just goof off with it, I will at least learn something, you know? <laughs> oh, so anyway, I guess it's one of those things, and I guess that's why I'm not talking about anything really specific right now, because I know that when I take this video home and I start editing it, there's a chance that it could just, I could end up wasting my time and just scrapping the whole thing. Sawdust, that could be. Is sawdust slippery? I don't know if sawdust is actually slippery. It probably depends on if it's wet or dry or... I would imagine that wet sawdust on a paved road, that would probably be pretty slippery. Should probably stop and have a drink somewhere. If you are new to the channel, meet Felix. 
This is my 2008 V-Strom. Got Shinko 705s. Progressive suspension, homemade skid plate, homemade radiator guard. It seems to do the job pretty well. Even though my back tire is about done, I'm actually a little afraid of getting a hole in it. Look at these beautiful places here in Montana though. Look at this, what a beautiful place. Oh, I just love these roads like this though. These are the these are the ideal roads. I don't like the big wide like almost like a dirt highway kind of thing. Not not a fan. It's a beautiful bear country up here. And I don't mean that the bears are beautiful. I'm saying that the country is beautiful. Oh, for me, I thought that I was about to miss that one. Ah, this is a nice road. Oh gosh, I love these roads. These are like, these are like the ideal roads for what I like to do. Like you can have fun, you're moving well, you gotta pay, not, you don't have to pay like close attention, it's not extremely technical, you know. That goes to Ashley Mountain, and this one goes to where we want it to go. Yeah, so for stuff like this, gosh, I love doing stuff like this, these types of roads. The way I got my bike set up, does it absolutely wonderfully. Yet, I can still get on it and do really long days, high mileage days, and it's still happy. You know, I, I actually had someone tell me this lately, that the V-Strom is not an adventure bike. That really boils down on what a person's sense of adventure is. For my sense of adventure, it's exactly what I need. I don't see motorcycles as, as a linear thing. Like one motorcycle is better than another motorcycle, and this motorcycle is better than that one, and then this one's better than that one. I don't see it that way. I kind of I see it as like they're kind of like fingers, you know? Like each one has like its own its own thing that it's good at and there's there's preference and bikes can be almost as, un as unique as individuals and so what one person is comfortable taking off road and or riding for really long distance might be might not be the case with someone else and and and, and the motorcycle world is just so diverse and then with each individual uh, uniqueness of people and motorcycles I'm very neutral when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't push products on people. I don't push bikes on people. I need to stop right over here because this is the place that you stop. If you have like a flat tire or something, you want to stop right here. <laughs> Let's turn. Is that still rolling? No. I wonder why. SD card full. Okay. So yeah, I'm just bouncing around from subject to subject, I guess. So the only way that I'm going to do any type of videos where I can express my opinion, per se, I think, is if somebody requests it, because I'm not just going to hand out, uh, you know, I'm not just going to hand out my opinion just for the sake of venting, I guess. Um, so if you do want to know my opinion on something, you're going to have to ask for it. And even then, you're probably not going to get much of an answer. I, know, I don't know. I mean, I like to listen to people's opinions. Sometimes I like to just get an opinion just for the sake of having one. Uh, sometimes it doesn't even influence my own thoughts. A lot of times it doesn't influence my own thinking, getting someone's opinion on it. So, I'm not opposed to giving my opinion. It's just if you're going to request it, you got to take it for what it is. Just an opinion. So we're going to go up here. So far it seems like really nice. I don't know if anyone's been up here. Oh, look at this. It's 
look around. Let's just see. This is one of those clear cuts so that you see something. I wonder what that little road right down there is. I'm not seeing anything moving. Which, you know, could be a good thing. <laughs> give my legs a rest. I was afraid that if for some if for some dumb reason I did get stuck out here, I didn't want to go walking all the way home in my motocross boots. So I decided to just go with some regular boots. This is great. This is a wonderful road. <laughs> I love these roads like this. Okay, I gotta be able to see a little bit better now. So that right there, I guess, let me look around and make sure I'm not about to get, get attacked. The only thing that's attacking me is my paranoia. So I guess that mountain right there is Engels Mountain. Now according to Google Maps, that trail goes all the way up. But yeah, there's no trail here. There is no, there is no continuing. Well, this is a fun road. I'll tell you what, I mean, I'd come back up here. I would come back up here in a heartbeat. No bear. Kind of a bummer. I'd like to see a bear. Yeah, I guess to me, you know, this is the, this is my sense of adventure. Uh, as far as my, my lifestyle goes, my skill level goes, um, you know, for the most part, I, I ride alone. And so doing things that are too crazy by yourself not a really good idea when you think practically you know but not so much when it's I guess when it's just you on the line but when there's other people depending on you it's a good idea to just not get too crazy I've got to cut across to here go all the way over to the Tally Lake area or I'm not Tally Lake Sylvia Lake Supposedly there's a trail that goes from back there all the way through the sticks over there all the way to Sylvia Lake. So one of the things that we set out to do today, we have done. We got to the edge of that road that goes to, uh, what was the name of it again? Ingalls? Ingalls Mountain? Nice road too. Oh, I'm just kind of running out of things to say. There's Tally Lake. How about that? Tally Lake. Did I say Tally Lake? I did. It's Sylvia Lake. Gosh. A popular little place. I don't know where that one goes. We should probably find out sometime. Okay, so I was able to delete some of the videos off of my uh, SD card of the GoPro. So we got the we got a secondary camera again. We better turn it on. Okay, I gotta check out my. Got the super view going on, so I think I might look a little scrunched. Oh well. Oh, I feel better now that I got something to drink and Yeah, these roads can be fun, but they're not my favorite. I mean this one's not bad. They start getting a little bigger than this and gosh they I mean this right here, you might as well be driving on a paved road. It's just so wide and it's basically a paved road. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we'll just go back down here. Yeah, so that's the road that we came. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's the road that we came out of. 
earlier. Oh, that's a moose. That's a moose. That's a moose. That's a big moose. That's a that's a mama moose. Look at that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I bet you that's so hard to see on the camera. Oh, I wish that I had. Like looking directly up into the sunlight. Ah, oh, dang. And they're gone. It would have been nice to get a, a bit clearer picture of those things. Well, you know what? It's better than nothing. Didn't see a bear, but we saw a moose, and that's pretty good. Cool. I hope that comes out on the camera at least a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this random kind of pointless video other than teaching me how to use my editor. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed it anyway. Maybe it was entertaining. I don't know. But thank you for watching it. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And we will see you next time.